super easy zombie strat. Let's go. First off, let's talk about gobble gums. Now, if you don't have an infinite amount of gobble gums already, then you're doing zombies wrong because it is the easiest carry in the game. All right, if you don't already have one, go look at the video. It's linked in my description, and then you're gonna run that on your PC. If you're playing on PS4, PS5, really anything that's a console, then it's kind of gonna be a lot harder for you. But if you have these gobble gums that I'm about to list out, perfect. Now, the gobble gums that you want are round robin, raindrops, percoholic, shopping free, self medication. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys all the information you need on these five gobble gums so then you know I'm not farming you for views. First off, round robin. Now, this one's super simple to understand. You only got one use. Whenever you use it, it ends the round and it gives you 1600 points. Next one is raindrops. This one spawns in nine power ups that are very useful. But there's a certain way to use this one. Let me show you. See, when you pop raindrops, you have to save the first row. The reason why is because once you pick up that double points, it doubles every single point that you get, including the nuke and the blood money. Usually, blood money gives you about 1250, but this time it gives you 2500. And also, lastly, the death machine. It uh, it's really useful if your nuke doesn't kill everybody. Also, the nuke. It gives you 400, but with that double points, 800. It might not seem like a lot, but those little amounts will matter in the later rounds. Now, Perkaholic is super simple. It just gives you all of the perks on the map. Now, the next one is Shopping Free, and it might seem really simple. Basically, all purchases are free for one minute, but this one is so good. The reason why is because all purchases are free for one minute if that doesn't seem game breaking to you that's completely fine i'll explain it like this there are some things that you need to spend five thousand ten thousand so much money on in this game which is part of the fun is getting those points but this way you could just get them for free the last one is going to be self-medication now this one is really good the reason why is because one it auto revives yourself as long as you get a kill two it keeps all of your perks, and three, you can use it three different times. This doesn't include if you have another sort of self revive, for example, quick revive on, it's going to save that perk, and then you can basically be revived four times. Now that you know what you're doing, let's start. Kino Der Toten is the map that you're going to want to choose for this setup. Next, go run over to the Gobble Gum Machine and see what you get. Now, I got Perkoholic, but what you're really wanting is Shopping Free. So first I get Shopping Free and I just boot it out of there. I'm really trying to use as much of this one minute as I can. And first it's just buying all these doors. If I were you, I would follow where I'm going because I actually have a little technique that I don't think a lot of people know about. Um, but we keep going this way, we're trying to turn on the power and looking for the box. Now those two rooms didn't have it, which is pretty uncommon, but it happens. And uh, I'm just like, keep looking for it, turn on that power, it's right there. And I just want to stop this for you for a sec, because I glimpse over it. This shows you where the box is, alright, so it's actually to my left, this is the main map. If you didn't know, of course. Alright, I look at this thing thinking I should buy another one, and then I'm like, oh wait, I gotta go box. It's been a minute since I've ran this route, so it's like not something that I do on the daily. Um, and then I find box, I spin it, I don't get anything out of it, but I do get a gun just in case I have to kill some zombies, right? Now I want to show you a little technique. I just hit the box and I'm going to run over here, hit this gobble gum. So now it's spinning. I pick up this gun, I run back, and I pick up that gobble gum. Now I did all of that, the gobble gum was free, and... Honestly, that's how you're supposed to be using shopping free. If you still have a little bit of time left, you know, use as much as you can of it up. And I got shopping free. It gives me a little bit more points and it gives me a sale, which gives me a chance to get the gun that we're looking for. I know that it's prolonging the video, but I really want to show you guys how easy I got this gun. Don't be discouraged if you didn't get the gun this fast, but I think I spun like three times. This gun was a thunder gun. This is what we needed and it will absolutely carry. I'll talk about this area downstairs in a minute, but first I want to show you guys how to pack the weapon, which should be the next thing that you do. If you don't already have enough points, like me, I do have enough points. First you want to initiate the link, alright, first you gotta step on that teleporter, press E, press whatever the initiation button is, then you gotta run over here to this teleporter pad, hit E or whatever that button is, and then go back to the teleporter. 
and that is the way that you do it you can't do it every round you can only do it one or another round and there we go now packing a gun on round four is really good packing the gun that can carry you to around 200 is even better so i'm just saying that if i can do this you can do this but i might have stolen somebody's luck out there don't be discouraged if you aren't able to get this far all right if you need to find that zeus cannon and you're on round like 15 just keep looking you will find it it's only a matter of time now if you've made it this far you definitely deserve the secret me and my friends have found a space where we have gotten easily to level 40. now i know it's not that far but there's a vmp wall by over here if you ever run out of ammo you just have somebody looking this way all right and you have somebody watching that window over there okay and as long as you have two people watching you will be so fine i promise you because as long as you line it up just like that you don't even have to waste that much ammo right get the right guns and this will be a piece of cake on those later rounds though you're definitely gonna be cooked just make sure you don't buy all of the doors connected to this area and instead you go around in case the box is over there right um but yeah this is one of my secret areas don't tell anybody my next hint are these traps you have this electrical one right here and it literally kills all zombies no matter what level you have this horrible gun one right here it doesn't kill any zombies to be honest with you and then you have this other electrical trap now if they start being too much and you don't have a good gun to deal with them you can use these traps and also i wanted to mention this if you're on these earlier rounds, then you can stand on that little stage that I was just on, um, and they only come one way. They only come right here. So if you're able to mow them down right in front of you, then it's good. Also, I hate this gun. Anyways, that's kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed Dark Out.